good swing is going to have a wind on the back foot, and the hip rotation is going to throw the hands X style towards the bottom of the ball within the rotation, and the bat's going to whip through X style into the ball. There's a wind on the back leg, hands come back, the rotation, the shoulders open and throw the lead arm, the hips throwing the whole the whole rotation open, and then you're going to feel the bat lag and whip. You throw the hands X style, palm down and palm up towards the bottom of the ball. Aiming inside the rotation, you see the bat just whip through and cut through it. With more level swing. Now, 61 year old Wayne, look at the uh, inefficiency in the swing. He steps backwards, steps inside. The hips are closed off. He's trying to pull every ball here. And then the hands and the knob are aiming down. Look at that. The hands don't come back. Watch how the hands come back here so the knob is facing forward. We get on a good plane. You see Frank Henry, top Canadian pro, do the same thing. Watch your knob is down, so you have to reroute it. Typically, people go down, then they come up, and then you're pushing. There's just no throw off the hip rotation of the hands X style into the ball. And again, this step forward here, every swing looks the same. There's a rollover. Watch, watch how your hips can only turn towards right field, and you're trying to pull it. Then your hips actually stop your swing from rotating, and... It's just um, the whole concept you have is wrong. You had a 48 mile an hour exit speed. You're only 61 years old, in good shape, former Marine and Navy guy. Watch Frank Henry's hands come back. The knob is facing forward. The rotation throws. The lead shoulder is going to open. That's going to throw the lead arm like a frisbee. Top arm is going to throw like you're skipping a stone. You're throwing the axe style hands and bat head to the bottom of the ball, trying to cut it to get underspin line drives. Long home runs, whatever you're looking for. But you want to get on this, but the knob will come down here. The arms are so jammed. Once your front shoulder lifts up, the lead arm doesn't come off. Everything's pulled up. Your front shoulder pulls it up in the air. Watch when you do the bat shoulder. Look how that front shoulder pulls it way up in the air. So that was a huge flaw. Here's how it should look. Much more level. You want to just, you know, you're pulling up. There's no arm extension. Uh, you're pulling away up in there. The bat head drops way below the hands. We want that bat head to stay almost level with the hands on a pitch that's waist higher and higher. Watch Bob Waldike. Drives the knob. Wherever you drive the knob, the, the X snap is going to follow. Wherever you drive the knob in the back of the hands. So we wanted to start out here fixing this lower body, the shuffle. We start out feeling like a punch. A punch off the rear hip is a throw in motion. Then the diagonal torque. Watch how well your front foot is opening now. Look at it. It's reaching, opening straight ahead, not stepping in. A great rotation. See, this This is what it looked like before. Little shuffle, you step inside, the hips are closed off. So that was phenomenal. Just the diagonal torque drill. Great. Work down the lower body. Now take that diagonal torque drill. Can we still use it? And throw the frisbee with the lead arm. Have the rotation of the shoulders throw. Yeah, look at it. You open up, foot works the same, it's a progression, nice job. Now we try to use the, the swing simulator and just throw a lead arm swing on the top of the rope. Great. See how the rope doesn't distend? We're going, we're letting the ball drop to the top of the rope, and that's where we're aiming. Look at there. That's the beauty of that. And then we use both hands. Look, you let the ball drop to that zone, attack it. Now let the ball drop to that zone. Now look at it. Drive the hands. Look at it. That's just great. You're not... Golfing, you're, the knob, what's the knob? It's coming down towards the, your knob is aiming towards where the ball is going to be, the bottom half. It comes up just a little bit, the bat head drops, but still, vastly, vastly improved. Your hips are throwing the hands X style, and you're throwing the bat head to the ball. Look at that. That's why that guide rope is so good. Now we progress on to the T, and look at right away. Watch the knob come down, the knob comes up, the bat head drops. What's that? There's a loop in it. Bat head drops, and you're golfing it. You've got a truss you can karate chop down through. See that? That's what our mental focus is. I give you a little bat, you go down through it. you got to drive your knob towards the ball. When the knob and the lead arm can't go any farther, then the bat head will whip through and it'll go right where you aim the knob. Look there. You're getting closer and closer and closer. Still not cutting it great. And then finally, great there. Look at that. And if you watch the lead arm, when the lead arm reaches full extension, wherever the knob is aiming, you're going to snap through. Is it perfect? No. There's a little hesitation right at the end. You've got to really use the hip rotation to throw and extend that lead arm. That's going to be your guide. But that's great. You're cutting it. You're not golfing it anymore. Now when we have both hands here, hip rotation throws the hands X style through the bottom of the ball to the point of contact where the ball is going to be. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Vastly improved. You proved you could do it. Good hip rotation, hips are open, but watch your top arm. Your top arm is a little bit jammed. You're still not 
driving and throwing those hands as fast as you can within the rotation but getting them to extension. You can see right here. Watch the lead arm. The arms are just a little bit jammed. It's better, but it's watch Walt, Bob Waldeck. Look at that extension. You drive the arms within the rotation to full extension and just snap through. Better here. Look at this. You throw, throw, throw. There's a little bit of a hesitation still. You throw as fast as you can. Look at Frank Henner. Pretend he's throwing a karate chop. Watch that lead hand. You want that bad head to whip. You want that bad head to whip past the hands. So here's a watch this first practice swing when we go outside. Go back to the old habit. See the knob comes up, and that's where your swing ends up, up in there. Wherever the knob is, that's where the bat head ends up. And then you take the, the next swing. Look at this. Exactly like it was in the party swing. See the knob is, when you, when you start to snap and the bat starts to whip through, wherever the knob is aiming, that's where the bat head's going to go. Look at the party swing versus the live swing. So it's a huge radical change to get a level cutting swing. And you vary back and forth between the two. That's why you started out in such good shape at 61 with a 48 mile an hour exit speed. This is great here. The guy, look at it, you're driving it, you're throwing it. Your hips are rotating, the rotation's throwing it, the lead arm's throwing it. The better right there. Not perfect, no, but at least you're not golfing it as, as much as you were. Um, that's why you increase from uh, 48 miles an hour the first day to 70 the second. See? All kinds of pride swings over and over and over. Drive, get those arms extended within the rotation. One thing I told you to do was to drive your hands two feet over. Now here's a ball, you, you have a 200 foot fence and you never hit one over. 200 foot fence with ASA equipment. Now watch here, the knob comes up, hands come down, the knob comes up, it's under snap. But, you're throwing it so much faster, your hips are so much better, that ball went about 285 feet. 60 feet farther than you ever did before. But watch here. If I keep that knob from coming up above the plane of the ball, if I'm aiming at the bottom of the ball, look at wherever I aim the knob when the bat head whips, that's where it's going to punch through. Your knob is up, so your bat head is going to drop. Robert Blackburn, you can take a little pitch and drive it. See that? Watch where he's driving the hands and knob towards the bottom of the ball. Straight line, A to B. That's how you cut. That's how you cut the ball. You get better and better here. You had a high of... Uh, 58, at the end you had a high of 74. You're still not there, but off the rope you do well. Keep working those drills, and let's take a look at the live swings. Great working with you, and your potential's even 10 miles an hour higher. Good. Good ball. Finish up, close your eyes. Did you feel that? That's how you finish up. Here's how it should have felt. Boom! Like a... Because I've been trying to muscle through prior to coming out for this uh, for this training, so not having to use the upper body to muscle through and just allowing the mechanics to work through, it feels just as natural as anything. <laughs> 